Hello students, welcome to the video lecture series of data structure. Our today's topic is DQ, that means double and then Q. Hi, this is our instructor Janice Shah. So let's begin with the today's outlines. Students, today we are going to learn about the DQ, the insertion at front, insertion at rear, deletion at front, deletion at rear, and then the example of DQ. So let's start with the first uh, concept to understand that what do we mean by DQ. Students, if I am, if you know the in Q we have only two ends, the one end which is used for the insertion, and the second end which is used for the deletion. The end which is used for the insertion is known as rear, and the end which is used for the deletion is known as front. But what if you can do insertion and deletion both operation? By using rear end, you can do insertion and deletion of both operation by using front end. So that concept is known as DQ. DQ is further divided by into two different parts. One is input restricted DQ, and second one is output restricted DQ. So let me show you what do we mean by exactly DQ. So DQ is a more generalized form of the Q data structure, which allows the insertion of an element or the remover. Of an element from the queue from both ends. The type of the DQ, the number one is in input restricted, and number two is output restricted DQ. So here it is. If we talk about the input restricted and output restricted, so the first figure shows the DQ generalized form where you can do the insertion, you can do the deletion of the elements from the both ends. The second, the both things are known as the input restricted and output restricted. In input restricted students at the one end, the, you cannot insert the data elements. On the another end, you can do insertion and deletion both. In output restricted, on the other end, you cannot delete the values, but you can do insertion and deletion at the one end and insertion at the other end. So that is known as output restricted and input restricted DQs. Now, let's move towards the very first algorithms. See, if we talk about the DQ students, you can perform the four different algorithms in DQ. One, insertion and deletion at front end. Second, insertion and deletion at rear end. So here what we have, the number one is insertion at rear end. Number two is insertion at front end. See, the insertion at rear end. Let me tell you that in the simple queue, what we did, we did the same thing. Because the simple queue insertion is known as insertion at rear end okay i used to say this that you can do insertion only at the one end and that end is known as rear end. so here when we talk about the insertion at the rear end it, the algorithm is totally similar as simple queue insertion the different algorithm is all about the insertion is at front end but same like the students when we talk about the deletion at front end it is same as the deletion in simple queue but when we talk about the deletion at the rear end yes definitely it is little bit different fine so let's first take a quick review about the very first algorithm that is known as simple queue insertion or we can say insert at rear end see this is a double q insertion a double q insertion at rear end that's why my naming convention for the function is little bit similar to the work of the algorithm okay you have to be practiced for this you have to make sure in the program in any programming language the function name must be meaningful as per the work will done by the function okay so here this algorithm or this function is going to perform the double q insertion or i can say the double q insertion at the rear end okay so here it is my function name is in ins at the rate rear end insertion at rear end what i need need i need front rear and q uh, by fine so the steps are the common same as the previous one if my rear point is greater than equal to n then it must be overflow here i'm going to perform the insertion operation from the rear end that's why student i need to compare the rear end only now the next we have the increment the rear pointer Increment the rear pointer that means r is equal to r plus 1. The next assigning the value that means q of y is equal to q of uh, sorry q 
of r is equal to y and the next one is if my front pointer is at 0 then make it at 1. So this is as simple as the simple equal insertion. I am not going to uh, say anything brief about this because you already know about it. Okay, if it's still you're not aware about the simple queue insertion, then check out the video of my simple queue insertion how it works. Now, let me tell you the next one is insertion at point time. See, this is little bit different. Usually, what you are doing, you are inserting the value from the real end, but here the algorithm told you to insert the value from the front end. That means you obviously do something real because it's not a simple queue, this is a double ended queue. So, as students, you know, in the rear end insertion, you are incrementing the rear pointer. In rear end insertion, you are incrementing the rear pointer. In the front end insertion, you should decrement your front pointer. See, if this is my Q, if this is my Q, if I am talking, sorry, if this is my Q, when I am talking about this particular Q, okay, and this is my rear end, this is my front end, okay, my insertion goes like this. Insert the values, deletion goes like this, deletion of the values. So when I want to insert something at the front end, students, you need to decrement your front pointer. So my insertion goes in this direction, my deletion goes in this direction. Fine. So let me show how it works. So the fun function name is, so the algorithm name is procedure, ins, at the rate, front, and frqy, then we will check out about the overflow condition. See, when the queue becomes overflow, let me tell you. See, in the rear end insertion, if my, this is my queue, this is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. If my rear move towards the 1, 2, 3, 4 and the 5th position, that means at the end, my queue becomes overflow. But when we talk about the front end insertion, but when we talk about the front end insertion, if this is my queue, this is my queue students, what happens? See. See over here, if this is my queue, then my front pointer move towards the decrementing. If it is two second position, move towards the one. If it is third position, we move towards the two, again decrementing at one, again decrementing. Is there any place? No, because your queue is from one to five. You cannot move, decrement the front pointer up before one. You cannot go to zero. That means your limit is at one. You cannot decrement your front pointer when is it at one. That means if your front pointer is at 1, it becomes overflow. Fine. So, because you are inserting in this direction, you are inserting some as elements in this direction. Okay. So, this is the insertion in the rear end in this direction, a simple key insertion. But when you are inserting here at the front end, you are going in this direction. Fine. So, this is how the insertion uh, occurs at the front end. So, this is my Q 10, 20, and 30. My front pointer is pointing at the 1, that means you cannot decrement of front pointer more, that means you cannot insert any value in the front pointer. So the condition for the overflow is, if my front pointer is at 1, you cannot do any insertion, you can directly move towards the return. Next, if it's not like that, if it's not like that, that means the first thing, if my front pointer is at 0. Students, so when my front pointer is at 0, when my queues becomes empty, okay. So, when my Q becomes empty, my front and rear both are at 0. When my Q becomes empty, my front and rear both are at 0. That means, that means I should move both to the 1 and the assign the value. Again, I should move both to the 1 and assign the value. So, here I am going to write that if my F is equal to 0, then students, you need to write F is equal to R is equal to 1 and Q of F is equal to Y, C. Q of f is equal to y, but wait, but wait, this is a situation when you can directly insert a value when your queue is empty, but what if your queue is not empty, okay, so the situation is that when your queue is not empty, then you just need to decrement your front pointer from here to here and assign the value, Q of f is equal to y, so this statement Q of f is equal to y is a common in both the situation, that's why I am going to write if f is equal to r, if sorry, if f is equal to 0, then f and r both pointing to the 1, else f should be decremented. f should be decremented. So after us resetting the q, sorry, resetting the friend pointer value from 0 to 1 or decrementing, we just need to assign the value q of f is equal to y. Students, 
here you can see the q of f is equal to y because we are going to insert the value at the front position remember do not write q of r you should write q of f only fine now let's move towards the next so here is the example of the front end insertion see by default the q is empty so insert 30 see i am inserting the 30 directly at this position i am showing you this example you there is nothing like a magic that you can directly insert 30 at the third position okay i am just showing you to elaborate the example of front end okay so just imagine the situation that you have one q initiated with the 30 value which is at third position okay this is my q 30 value is a third position now if i want to insert something insert 20 insert at front is there so front will be decremented it goes at the 2 it goes as a 2 and it will be assigned the value next that is 20. if i again want to insert something 10 it will be assigned the value front will be decremented and 10 will be assigned to it if i want to again move towards the there insert 40 should i can i do that no because because my front pointer is already at 1 you cannot decrement more so that is q is full this is the whole example of q simple sorry insertion at front end fine now let's take a next example so students let's take a next example which is going to deletion at front end deletion at front end which is similar as the simple code deletion i'm not going to uh, go in a deep for this so here it is students the, the thing is known as the deletion at front end the parameters are q f r okay first into check the underflow condition if f is equal to zero then just write the q is underflow and return zero then step number two if it's not like that then assign the value q of f to y q of f to y we just assigning the value q of f to y and then what to do next see the next step okay so then after assigning the value q of f to y we just need to check whether my front and rear both are at the same position or not if both are at the same position students then you just need to move f and r to zero and else just increment the front pointer value so here it is the last step will be return y fine so this is how you can perform the deletion operation in dq when the deletion occurs at front end now let me tell you the next deletion operation little bit here which is known as deletion operation at the rear end in dq because we usually do the insertion operation right but here i need to do the rear end so this is my q students if this is my q when i want to delete something when i want to delete something my rear is here my front is here i just think my front see increment my front from here to here here to here here to here in this direction we are going to delete in a simple q okay but this is dq so deletion occur at the rear end will goes like this decrement the rear decrement the rear decrement the rear decrement the rear so it goes in this direction fine so just check out the algorithm the first how you can see that your q is empty when your rear pointer is at zero see in the previous algorithm we have written like that f is equal to zero but here i am going to write rear is equal to zero why because this is deletion at rear end and as far as i concern with the rear end only okay so here the rear is equal to zero then you should write your q is empty and return zero else what to do if see if this is your friend you again you ask, you need to assign the value of q of r to y here you need to assign the value of q of r to y so after assigning the value of q of r your rear will be decremented like this here will be decremented like this okay so when your f and r at the same position students again the situation is same both pointers move towards the zero else what to do else just need to decrement your rear pointer so the condition will remains the same that if f is equal to r is equal to zero sorry f is equal to r then just move towards both of them pointer to zero else just decrement the rear pointer so this is how the rear and deletion occurs so let me show you the next uh, example for this so this is my q 20 30 and 40 are there if i want to delete 40 what happens 
this is the rear end deletion students so you just need to decrement rear end okay so rear will be there the part will be removed again see the deletion operation again rear will be decremented and 30 will gone again the deletion operation what happens after deleting 20 the f and r at the same position so q becomes empty and when the q becomes empty my f and r both pointing to zero fine so here it is after when the f and r at the same position i just need to remove the 20 from here and f and r to zero okay this is how my q becomes empty this is the deletion algorithm of deletion at rear end in dq now let me show you the example how they in exam they ask you so this is the example students you just need to write down the position of front and rear but make sure where to insert where to delete okay so this is my q very first q here i have like uh, dash 15 25 45 and dash blank my front pointer is at 2 and the rear is at 4 my q size is 6 what happens so this is the beginning this is the beginning we just need to make a table like this like operations front rear and q okay here my latest begin beginning at the beginning my front is at 2 rear is at 4 now let me check the various operations from here the first one is insert at front end insert at front at 22 i want to insert at front end the value is 22 okay fine insertion at front end is that normal no so here we just need to decrement your front pointer just check out the front pointer value is 2 so then just check out the front pointer value is that 2 so you can decrement your front pointer yes so just value becomes 1 and here is at 4 the value is inserted 22 now the next is insert rear 42 and we are going we need to insert 42 at the rear end is the normal thing do we have the uh, enough space at the rear end yes because q size is 6 we here the right now the rear is pointing at 4 so we can at least insert two elements okay so here we can also insert one five and the element is inserted fine now what happens the next step is insert at front 34 see my value my front pointer value is at one okay now should i need uh, can i students decrement my front pointer yes or no no because front pointer is already at one you cannot decrement it more for the insertion because the queue is overflow so as you cannot insert 34 over there 1 and 5 remains as it is all my queue is full only for the dq insertion at front end condition my dq is full next insert at rear we can insert 54 they will be incremented goes at 6 next deletion at front deletion at front okay so you, you can delete at front you can perform the deletion operation at front yes okay so just do it delete the latest value is 22 okay so 22 will be deleted so 2 6 front will be incremented next we have delete at rear yes students you can perform the deletion operation at the rear for that you just need to decrement your rear pointer decrement your rear pointer which becomes 54 54 will gone rear becomes 5 again so here it is my answer next we have the deletion at rear rear again decremented it will become 4 and 42 will be deleted next we have insert at rear insert at rear 65 we have enough space for the rear end yes so rear will be incremented it goes 5 so the 2 5 and 65 is inserted at the last so this is all about the example of the dq insertion and deletion which you can apply easily by applying the algorithms so that's it for the DQL algorithms. We have seen the insertion and delete, insertion at front, deletion at delete and deletion at front. Okay. So if you have any doubt, just feel free to ask me. Thank you so much.